Welcome to the third video on asynchronous programming using MicroFocus's True Web Protocol. In this video, we will show how to connect to a WebSocket and communicate through it in a True Web script. Before continuing, please make sure you are familiar with the promise concept of JavaScript, as this is a prerequisite to understand the rest of the video. In this tutorial, we will examine the WebSocket Lightstreamer example. You can find this script in the examples directory of TrueWeb. When browsing to the Lightstreamer website, we receive a session token. Then we can open a WebSocket connection with the token to get updates on stock data. In this web request, we add an extractor to retrieve the LS session token, which we will later use. Let's focus on the WebSocket. In this line, we create a new WebSocket object using parameters similar to a web request. We can assign four types of callbacks. On message is called for each message received by the WebSocket. On open is called once the WebSocket connects. On close is called when the WebSocket closes. And finally, on error is called when the WebSocket encounters an error. To connect the WebSocket, we call the open API. Once the connection is open, the onOpen function is called synchronously, and we can send the messages expected by the Lightstreamer server, including the session ID. To wait until some WebSocket messages are received, we can use the asynchronous wait for data API. This receives the timeout duration in milliseconds. We wait 60 seconds during which the onMessage handler is called for every message received from the server. Notice the await keyword that will prevent the action from continuing until the allotted time has elapsed. After 60 seconds, we can close the WebSocket. Sometimes we want to prevent the action from ending until a WebSocket is closed, usually when our flow depends on some data from a WebSocket. For these cases, you can await on the Wait for Close API, which will only resolve once a WebSocket is closed. In this case, you will have to close the WebSocket inside some asynchronous handler. Thank you for watching this video about using WebSockets in TrueWeb. You are invited to watch our next video, Using Timers.